50% subscription to have a successful program and with the commitments received from Ghana Association of Banks, Ghana Insurance Association and the Ghana Securities Industry Association, many including Chief Executive of Dalex Finance, believes government can achieve its target. What makes it even more painful is that we got stuff on ourselves. I suspect that the Minister of Finance would get reach its 8% um, whatever level it needs to be able to take the program forward. Uh, the regulators should come up with a framework to support the financial sector. And all you hear here is banks, 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 banks. But there are different kinds of institutions in the financial sector. You have insurance companies, you have microfinance companies, you have uh, finance houses, you have savings and loans, you have rubber banks. And all those institutions support a sector of the market and they price according to the risk. And all those institutions should be supported and there needs to be a holistic approach. But there are outstanding issues that must reflect in the new memo. These include the exact terms for investors in collective investments, the fate of pension funds, and the involvement of the Ghana Amalgamated Trust GAT in the Financial Stability Fund. Professor of Finance John Gachi argues that the inclusion of the GAT in the debt exchange arrangement sent worrying signals. If I'm in the position of the banks and GAT is coming at the last minute, that would be a worry for me. Uh, I'll find it difficult to sign. We have a number of banks in the country, just about eight international banks have, in, have signed to the debt exchange program, the domestic banks largely are waiting for a memorandum to see what is in the, in the record before they sign. Uh, so that is something that uh, we we'll watch and see whether uh, things will result into an amicable resolution or they may delay the signing of the, of the agreement. Meanwhile